In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Google Drive link to share files. So here I have two files as an example. We're going to upload them to Google Drive and get a shareable link. So first, what you need to do is go to Google Drive and log in. If you've already logged into your Google account, you should just be logged in already and you'll be able to go straight here. From here, what I recommend you do, if you have more than one file you want to share, go to new, go and create a new folder and call it shared folder or whatever title is relevant to your files. Go ahead and give it a name and then create that folder. Now it should then redirect you to your drive and take you to your folder. You can then double click on that folder. And what I would do now is drag in your files. So now go ahead and open up the file explorer on your computer. So here I've got the file explorer open. And in my case, I've got two files, but you may have one file. You may have thousands of files. All you need to do is select all of the files that you want to add. Then go ahead and just drag them into Google Drive. This is how I do it. You can also go to new and then file upload, but it gets the same result. Now you'll know when they're complete because it will say how many uploads complete and they will have green ticks. Now all you need to do is go ahead and right click on your shared folder and you can then go ahead and go to share. You can click on share again. And then what I would do is if you want to share via a link, I would change it from restricted to anyone with the link. This is only if you trust the people you're sharing it to though. If you have it unrestricted, then every time someone tries to access the file, you will have to approve it via an email. If you just change it to anyone with the link, that means anyone with the link can view it at any time. So you can choose either of those two. I'm going to keep it on anyone with the link. We can then copy this link. Now we can give this link to anyone. And if they go to it, they're going to be redirected to the shared folder where they can then download all of the contents. So that's how to do it. I hope that quick video did help you out.